I love you and I'm gonna try something I've never done. I swear to God on my mother's heartbeat, you would be fired right now. And you personally, I think I would have punched in the face. Oh my God, bro. This is a professional crash out, dude. Oh my God, D1. Huh? So last year we talked about FoosyTube, a YouTuber oh who has been online for the last 14 years. The guy started out making content that was typical at the time in 2011, really leaning into his Drawn race here and life. religion to gain a fan base. How do you send text? Doing skits. Why don't you vlogs, just get a hair transplant? in the Apple Store, making Q and A videos, and having Drawing a strange infatuation with acting like Drake. Ah, y'all gotta ask Nicky Nicky about that one. Hmm. Waikiki. This all gained him a decent amount of popularity online, but it wasn't until he started doing pranks and social experiments that his channel really blew up and made him one of the biggest creators on the planet all within a calendar year. So I'm in VidCon right now, and it was exactly like how I anticipated it to be. A bunch of people who don't know who the hell I am. I wish you guys were here, man. Why don't many of you guys come to these things? Many months later. <laughs> Nah, son. Okay, nah. One I thing wouldn't that like was that very shit, bro. Clear from the start, hey, bro, was I need my Fousey space. Was obsessed with money, material possessions. Like, I don't mind y'all mobbing. I, like, I, I wouldn't mind people mobbing and like trying to take pictures with me. But like, y'all are all up on me, grabbing me. Oh hell, nah, bro. Fame, hell nah. Status and how other people viewed him. There is nothing more important to this man Fousey. than what other people think about him and getting as much attention as he can from said people. For a long time, I looked at myself in the mirror and I based myself based on what I read on the comments. I felt worthless. I felt ugly. I felt gay. I felt that no. Uh, that in these videos he was making, Fousey was always the good guy. He was always depicted as the hero. But over time, he would get himself involved in drama uh -huh. as he was exposed for faking his videos, oh, essentially God. hiring actors and actresses to try and create viral moments. And to his credit, it obviously worked. <laughs> Hey, I'm Shane Barbera. I was in Fuzzy Tube's uh, Uber prank. Um, <laughs> it's fake. I'm an actor. I was in Fuzzy Tube's scary pizza delivery prank video. I was paid to act in it. <laughs> Nowadays, we're a lot Damn. more used to sensationalism online, but back then, some of his fans were genuinely upset that he was faking these videos. But obviously, Fousey did not care because he was still getting millions of views drawn across several line, platforms. Bro. He still had a massive fan How base. How are you bald with a drawn on here? I Okay. To reputation online and of course he was making a ton of money while his status was rising even getting an opportunity to have a small role in a couple of movies what's up ladies we're having a halloween party tonight so I'm oh i remember this movie Hi. now back when he did Holy get caught shit. faking his content it would be the first but by far not the last time we would see how weak this guy really was and how his massive ego was actually rooted deeply in insecurity. You see, Fousey has built himself up time and time again just to tear himself down. And he can never just do a typical self-sabotage job. He always has to go down like a horrific plane crash that kills dozens of innocent bystanders. That's kind of true. And he does this to himself every single time. Mm -hmm. Like there is no one else to blame for his downfalls. It's like he's a Pokemon whose only move is self-destruct. <laughs> of course, there was the time he was running around stalking and pretending to be Drake. That's how you know Drake's in LA. Hey, drink, OVO. Yo, I'm trying to look like you, dog. Is it working? That's nah, kind of nah, weird, bro. Some girls do call me Champagne Poppy. And saying that he was going to put on this massive event where he claimed he would delete his YouTube channel if it failed. This is where he infamously crashed out for the very first time. Mm -hmm. I have bipolar and depression. That what you put into my head made me want to myself. He Somebody said, do it. No oh, my God. Jumper continuing his manic episode. Because I'm a real man and I don't need yes men on the internet to tell me who the f I am, you little this is bitch. A WWE guy. Put Thank the mic you, bro. Down. And overall, it was very clear that he was living in his own little sick, twisted reality. He would later be exposed for a really bad addiction to paying for favors. He was oh allegedly boy. spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on bro, and get massage off your phone, parlor activities. Bro. The original I used to be Jack Doherty. Parlor. Still am. Yeah. Still today. Yeah. When was the last time you went? Don't want to say. And oh, after where? Yeah. Massage parlor activities. Oh, massage. Parlor. I used to be addicted to massage parlors. Still am. Yeah. Still today. Yeah. When was you the last get time happy you went? endings. Is that Don't why? Say. 
And after going crazy and losing all of his money, he would actually go away for a while. And when he did return, it was beyond clear that he didn't know what to do. So he tried to influence a boxing and got destroyed on multiple occasions. Has taken it to Fousey here. And there's something about it. There's no defense whatsoever. No. No, this is becoming uncomfortable to watch now. He's just Why not defending so himself. Skinny, bro? He wanted to do like a crib style of show that only lasted a couple of episodes. And it really wasn't until he started to do in real life streaming last year when people really started to talk about him again. Some of you may remember that Fousey went Oof, crazy. He was running line, around bro. with the mentality of a shitty seven year old, constantly trying to make himself a spectacle out in public. And of course, there was the embarrassing incident at the airport between him and this drunk woman. You got sold in the trade? I actually care about this shit because I'm like an advocate for like against trading and all that shit. A few minutes later. What the? I just joined the Mile High Club. And I know it doesn't count as the Mile High Club because I was in the airport, but I still joined it. That's not the Mile High Club, bro. I swear to God. A few moments later. You got exposed tonight. I'm not a good person. For real. And once again, it all ended horrifically with him being arrested and thrown into the loony bin. My life is in danger and you arrest a Palestinian Muslim who's viral? Are y'all dumb or are you stupid? To me, streaming is the oh, last brother. thing this guy should be doing because it's a recipe for disaster. It's beyond clear that he has no control of his emotions Bro, or it's himself a real life joker. Matter. Oh my and god. with his constant need for validation from strangers and analytics, I cannot think of a job that would drive him to harm himself or others faster. And so after his That's arrest true. and his admission into the psych ward, he would once again disappear for a couple of months. Only coming back to post a very long message on Twitter, here he would basically say that he is depressed and that he never felt comfortable in his own skin. Stating that this is why he created the Fousey character as a mask to hide his true feelings and Yikes, true bro. self. And that he doesn't think he'll ever be able to escape his own sadness. Saying that reflecting back on his life has made him realize that he should be a massive success, but the reality is that he failed time and time again, ruining his life and his chance at stardom in the process. Now I truly thought that that would be the last we would see of Fousey, at least when it comes to the streaming arc of his career, but a couple of weeks ago he decided to go live once again. And when oh, I boy. started seeing clips of this man popping up, You're him, dog. And you're not him because you get views or you have money or you got a big ego or a big dick. This is how I'm coming what on here. What the? I'm a dog, I'm a pit bull, I'm a Rottweiler. <laughs> I knew it was pretty much like a car oh, with bad tires driving in the rain. Like everyone is. Oh man. This shit ain't looking good, bro. I'm not gonna lie, Fousey. Just waiting for this thing to crash. And spoiler alert, he did. So first off, a couple of weeks ago, this dude tried to get clout by pretending to be missing, which is obviously beyond pathetic. He even got his management in on the act, and I don't know. I just Come think the on. idea of pretending to be in danger to get attention has to give someone some bad karma. I was gonna ask about I was just about to say neon, bro. Oh my god, this video just read my mind. Oh my goodness, I was just about to say neon. Okay? We don't know. Like, I haven't heard from him. It's like the boy who cried wolf. After a while, no one gives a shit. And eventually, he of course turned up and started doing his streams again. And this time on the latest episode of Fousey's Grandiose Delusions, Fousey decided that he wanted to be a rapper and claimed oh that he God. would become the biggest artist on planet Earth. What the fuck that boy just say about Wu -Wah? Took a long break. So he went out and got oh, all no. the streaming equipment back, he hired a team to help him with his streams, oh, and he no. was back like he never left. The streaming platform Kick would apparently offer him a massive deal, contingent on him not self-destructing. So Nick knows about the phone call I had, the one that I said is the biggest phone call I had, the reason I'm so calm right now, because my life has changed forever, alhamdulillah. But there's one stipulation, I have to no, go one out. week not making any negative headlines, not getting in trouble, not f***ing up, not getting cancelled. Imagine guys, there is millions of dollars on the table sitting right in front of you. And all you have to do is not crash out, bro. I'm, that's so easy. And all you have to do is not act like an idiot. For one time period, just present yourself as an adult and don't f*** up. And he couldn't do it. And in him hiring this- He couldn't do it! Oh. Bro, I, I, honestly, I probably would have just went, I, I probably wouldn't have done IRL streaming for that week. I probably would have just stayed in my house, just started yapping it up a little bit, and probably even did some reactions, and that's it, bro. Team is where the problem really began, because well, that's what is I a now, narcissist so. who feels way too comfortable lashing out at people and treating them like shit. He goes from saying things like this. Thank y'all so much for being a part of this, genuinely. When I was younger, I used to use people. I used to use people, get what the f***. 
I needed from them and then dismissed them and never talked to them or need yeah. them again. Mm. I didn't do it because I was a bad person. I did it because I didn't know any better. I was young, rich, and dumb. Now, I show so much appreciation and I hope even before me saying this, you guys have felt me give you appreciation. Just by the way, I look at you in the eyes. To fighting one of his employees after he had the audacity to complain when he was not being paid. What? Try to come in my face that I paid for with a job that was gonna change your life. Shit. Yeah, cause you ain't worth shit. Okay. Go work at Chuck and Cheese. Now, obviously, I oh had my to cut God, the clip, Fousey. but Fousey fires the guy, then degrades him, and then punches him in the face as he's leaving. The other guy oh, had no him? aggression in his body language or his tone. He just really seems like he was sick of this guy's sociopathic behavior. And this ended up in him getting a temporary ban from Kick. Not even 48 hours into my 24 7, 30 days, and Kick bans me. Bro, because you're a fucking crash out demon. I think the industry and the people in the industry knows if we don't ban him and keep him quiet right now, he's going to expose all of us. And that what? led to him releasing this absolutely pathetic video of himself crying and begging for his millionth chance. Look, I'm going to try my best not to cry. I've been under so much stress because I'm, I promised Eddie and Akil I wouldn't crash out like last year. That... My adrenaline shot up and I don't even remember the last like 48 hours now that I'm out of it. And now that I calm down, I'm realizing all the destruction that I caused and this happens to me all the time. <laughs> Keep in mind, this clown is now in his mid-30s still pulling this bullshit. It's the same cycle with this dude over and over again. Like, we know you're not sorry. We know you're a narcissist addicted on, to please. attention and lusting for fame. But to me, the clock has really run out. This guy is like a million years old in internet age. And it's really time for him to get off <laughs> social media altogether. I don't think he understands that he's never going to reach the heights that he once did when it comes to popularity. And he is going to be used for a very long time as the prime example of someone who cannot handle the pitfalls that come with an addiction to social media fame. I'm not even gonna sit here and say sorry because, but like I'm trying to explain to y'all, like now that my adrenaline dumped and I'm back to Yusuf and I open Twitter and I see what Fousey did, I'm like... <sighs> Yeah, this guy is just a sorry excuse for a human being. Using this identity crisis bullshit as a shield and his mental health issues as an excuse is just beyond played out at this point. This guy straight up uses and treats everyone around him like shit, destroys his life over and over again, and he can never take accountability for one second in his life. You know I'm gonna punch you like I'll punch my ex-manager who's now suing me? Well, of course, he would be given yet another chance as he would get what unbanned fuck, after nigga? 24 hours and he would basically go on a rampage of disrespect. He crashed out on his therapist multiple times. No, I'm not. But when you get paid, you come with respect. Yes, 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 yes. You come with respect when you get paid 100%. Because the internet went out and their job is to watch the stream and tell me it goes down. Three minutes went by, they didn't say shit. Are they, are they, in, charge of, are they in charge of the internet? Can they make it happen? No, they, but they're in charge they, They're in charge of watching the stream to tell me when it goes down. Job and not letting me embarrass myself on the internet. You said you can't, you can't yell that one that I expect you to be safe, you can't. He crashed out on other members of his team. This nigga it is in Yo! Stop hanging around them. They're bringing your work I'm, down. I'm literally discussing tomorrow's schedule with him, and I'm also ordering pizza And once for you're you. done with that, leave him. He has negative energy. He's a loser. Okay. Now she's doing what she's supposed to. I gave them all a speech before starting. He fired a cameraman in five minutes. Took his bag off. Said, thank you for coming. You don't know how to work. I work a camera. Go to Chuck E. Cheese. The car is ready. Wait. Nah, this nigga's... Oh my god, bro. This nigga's a professional crash out, dude. Oh my god, D1. So they see you in the studio. <laughs> I love you, and I'm gonna try something I've never done. I swear to God on my mother's heartbeat, you would be fired right now. And you personally, I think I would have punched in the face. I'm being unfair? Yes, Why am I being unfair? I have done everything you've asked of me thus far. Have I? Have you? Yes, have I have. You? You're really gonna Tell stand me? on that? Yes, I You're am. really gonna stand on that? Hey, Joey. I'm sorry, this is abrupt. Good morning, by the way. Um, once they get here, you're gonna be sent home so you can like 
when she finds out, you can ask her, thank you for your time, but I, I don't need you here anymore. And basically, he just continued wow. to act like an absolute man-child. But don't worry, he also took time to suck himself off and call himself an internet legend on multiple occasions. I created every lane that they're walking on now. But they're driving on that freeway and they're not paying taxes to the king. Truly, I've never seen Nigga. Oh my seen someone who has accomplished really nothing of value think so highly of themselves. Either way, his mission Somebody for self-destruction would like, continue, what the fuck? and he would get a permanent ban from the CEO of Kick himself after he got upset and said that he planned to delete himself from the earth live on stream. Look at my eyes, I'm Night live kick.com backslash Fousey done. All right, I text Eddie. Is that it for Fousey? Question mark. Yeah, no more Fousey, man. This isn't the only time this guy has used the idea of self deletion to try and pull attention. Imagine to his like he's in the middle of a sentence on stream and it's just like channel is no longer available because he said that dumb shit. And I believe he only ever says this to try and get attention. I mean, this man is truly playing in the face of people who have legitimate mental health problems. Yep. And the thing is, the people around him are just laughing at this behavior. <laughs> And now Fousey is even claiming that he will be retiring. Guess what else happens? In my anger, I get banned. I just lost a hundred million dollars, and I said I will retire. I always I mean, see this damn steak thing at the bottom of these niggas' that. streams Fousey and shit. would even go as far as to always call his cake. own parents to let him know that he is going to be disowning them. I know, Bob. I'm just calling to tell you, you guys are never gonna see me again. I'm a Muslim. You guys, you guys put me on this earth, Baba. But now I'm 34, so I'm living my own life. So, Baba. This is the last you're ever gonna see me. I live in Australia now. You guys lost me. You raised the king. I'm gonna be worth a hundred million dollars one day, 500 million, but you're never gonna see me again, Bubba. You can call me every day. Like I said, this clown really does need to log off the That's internet so forever and sad. just go out there and try and make himself happy. It'd be different if his parents treated him like shit growing up and he said that, but like, bro, if they loved you, like... I'm gonna be irrelevant. First of all, guys, as long as I'm living, I'm relevant. That's a lyric on the album, by the way, the number one album in the world that I'll be performing at Coachella next year. This isn't the video, it's still coming. It's gonna be the biggest video the internet has ever seen because every mother waiting to see what Fousey's gonna do next. Why? Because I run this internet shit. This is exactly what happens when you let social validation be your main motivation yeah. in life. You will never know who you truly are, you will never have true control of your emotions, and you'll never be able to make sound decisions. Truthfully, Fousey's online career has lasted way longer than it should have, and most people who blew up back when he did either faded away or lost most of their relevance. And the only time people ever care to talk about this guy is when he's destroying his own life and maybe that's why the cycle never ends because he knows in the back of his head that that is the only way that he can get the attention that he so desires i don't feel bad for him at all i don't care I don't to either. see his millionth attempt to redeem himself and claim he's a new person and i don't even care to see him crash out for the millionth time like honestly it's not even sad anymore this whole thing has just become pathetic but I do want to know what you guys think about this Fousey update down below. Who's actually out there watching this guy's stream to where there's like millions of dollars being laid on the table in front of him? I do not know. But either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Dropping a like and That's... Damn, Fousey. I think it's over for Fousey, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I haven't... I, I was never really into him like that, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I never really watched this shit. Uh, but like, I, I've... <laughs> I can't say I haven't watched this shit ever because I've, I've watched a few of those pranks from back in the day, but like, I've never been like a fan, you know what I mean? Like, but dude, this shit is just sad to watch, bro. That shit is insane, insane downfall.